So as you heard on stage with Panos, um, the biggest thing about this device, we've been talking to creatives for a while, or creators, people who make things. And the reason why that is, is because there's just a product truth that stands out. Is that, you know, in the past with Pro and Book, full functioning laptops that run full desktop software with a pen, touchscreen, it's hard to come by. Um, but we also recognize that creativity isn't just an endpoint, it's a whole process. You don't, you don't just go and edit a video, you, you need to be inspired and go through the process first, right? Um, but the, as it stands today, we're stuck in this like pen and paper world. And then when we come onto digital, it's often broken. We have to use interface devices between the computer itself. And so we're in this like loop of frustration. With Surface Studio, we believe it's the, the solution to that. It's the end-to-end -end creation tool, all the way from when you have an idea, writing it down, all the way through to producing it, editing it, publishing it, um, on one single device, end-to-end -end digital workflow. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the design. Stunning, stunning design. Uh, it's a 12.5 millimeter thin screen, so you should get a profile of that. It's amazingly thin, the thinnest LCD monitor ever created. Um, it's got a, and, it, and it sits weightlessly on this chrome hinge, and as Thanos alluded to, it looks as if it, the screen is just floating there by itself. Um, with the computer, and all the hardware gets out of the way, so you can get really involved in what you're doing. There's 13.5 million pixels in the screen. It's got a 28-inch pixel sense display. So you can see how sharp the image quality is here. And that's actually created because behind here uh, is, is a, uh, we, we've used this optical bonding mechanism where we basically glued the pixels onto the Gorilla Glass. And that again has made, along with how many pixels there are, it made this like really popping immersive color. Um, now, uh, we believe that the Surface Studio is a statement piece. So, not only is the screen beautiful, but the whole design is beautiful, whereby, you know, you can have this in your office, um, or in your, you know, your home studio, or your work studio, and it, um, and it be really a statement of, like, what you've worked for. Now, the computing power all sits in the base. It's got three USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port, six generation Intel Core processors, i5, i7, um, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, um, and uh, a two terabyte uh, solid state, and spinning disk storage. Um, it's got a wireless uh, control capability for Xbox, um, Xbox One. Um, and so, you know, it's highly performant. This thing will be able to edit videos, edit photos, um, uh, etc., uh, as well as do basic things like use Paint, use Cortana, search the web, blah blah blah. So, you know, this this can be used everything from the kitchen to view the news in the morning, um, to scroll around, all the way through to you know loading up Sketchable and getting you know really into the details of the drawing. Now, on drawing, I think the coolest part, if I swap over here, the coolest part about um, about studio is when it goes into studio mode. Mm -hmm. So when we flip this down, this, uh, this hinge actually allows us to go into a 22 inch degree drawing angle. And so um, this enables me now to become at the point of creation. So I'm now in my design and I'm not switching between keyboards and mice and you know around the chrome. I'm here down in the details of what I'm trying to do. Now, this is a whole new way to create. This floating digital sheet of pixels is now a, a huge um, artistic canvas. Um, as we've seen, uh, we've also invented a new input category called the Surface Dial. Now, the Surface Dial is the way to, to take your physical instruments and put them into the virtual world. It allows you to access shortcuts and, and get into your workflow in a whole new way. Um, and it also has on-screen capabilities. So when I put that on screen, you can see I get a whole menu pop up <clears throat> all the way through to, I can select in real time, you can see the colors changing. Yeah. So this is actually modulating parameters um, in a way that probably wasn't possible on any type of input device before. Um, and you can see how just how beautifully this UI has been baked into the display. Um, each app partner has got a different iteration of what they believe is, is you know, the right um, or their UX customization, UI customization.
Um, but then you've also got other really cool tools. Like if I get if I get out a sketch of all and I open Sketchpad, um, not only does it give me things like color wheel, but I can also access a ruler here. And wow. this acts as a virtual instrument, right? So, so it's more than just a color palette. It is, it is an input device that triggers instruments as well. Um, and then I can simply, if I want to go back to my pen, I can select my pen tool. And then you'll notice up here, I have the ability to select my color, right? So again, as an artist, I don't have to leave my space. I can change colors on the fly, right? I stay here, even coming in and staying live and then coming back out and being able to, you know, see how simple that was? Um, so it's that coming in and out of creation to, you know, dreaming and doing. And just that fluid stroke, it's amazing. Wow, that's just like a canvas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We hope you love it. Thank you so 